By the way, if you want this piece of art, I'll link to it below where you can download it for free. Hello, creative. It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand. But first, how would you like a free cheat sheet? I thought so. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to get your free Illustrator cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. If you create icons, seals, or bursts, you might need to create type on a path, like you see here. By the way, if you want this piece of art, I'll link to it below where you can download it for free. But now let me show you how to create text on a path in Adobe Illustrator. Let me just back out here by hitting Command or Control minus. I'm going to use my selection tool to select my object and just move it over so we don't have to look at it. Okay, we're going to focus in on this area over here. First, you'll begin by creating the path. A path can be anything. It could be a Bezier curve that you set with the pen tool, or it could be a shape that you create. For this example, we're going to use our shape tool to create an ellipse. So when you choose that, I'm just going to click down and drag out. If you hold in the shift key, it will make it a perfect circle. So now we have our shape. You can see that it's kind of difficult to see the edge because before I created the shape, I didn't put a stroke and I had a white fill on it. It's not too late. I have my shape selected. So up here in my options menu, I could say no fill and I'll put a black stroke on it. So using my selection tool, I'm going to click off anywhere to deselect. And so with that, we're halfway there. All we need to do now is come to our type tool and choose type on a path. Kind of looks like a pair of skis. When you look at that cursor there, what you're going to do is just click down on the circle. Now this is the latest version of Illustrator. You can see that by default, they're now providing Greeked out text. So you can just begin typing here. I'll type out text on a path. All right. So a few more things about this. When you choose your selection tool, it will highlight for you some blue lines. The first line shows you the beginning of your text. The second short blue line is the end of your text. So if ever when you're typing, you see your text is cut off and a little red more box is appearing on the second blue line, you'll just want to click and drag that back out so it doesn't cut off your text. So it's your start and your finish to your text. There's one more blue line that you'll see and it's this one. It's a longer blue line that when you hover over it, you get this icon. It's that one that will allow you to push it inside the circle or outside the circle. So you click and drag in to your circle or out. So if you put it in, now you do have the ability to also kind of move the path as well. You can also drag it by the start of its line. You might need to tighten up the space between letters. So you still have the ability with your type tool to edit this in any way possible. Some shortcuts that I like to use, you highlight all of your copy and you hit Command or Control Shift greater than to increase the point size. Next, you could do Command or Control Shift left bracket to decrease the space between characters. So with that, you could play around with the positioning, the point size, and the tracking. So that's how you create text on the path in Illustrator. But wait, there's more. What if you wanted to have text on the top and text on the bottom, as in our example over here? If I had mom tested and then seal of approval down here, I wanted you to know that these are two separate circles or two separate paths. By the way, if you want this piece of art, I'll link to it below where you can download it for free. If I wanted to have some words up here and some words down here, I would make them two distinct circles. So I'll show you how to do that. Here, like I mentioned before, this is completely editable. So I could say seal with my selection tool. 
I can grab the blue line and move it around. And now if I wanted to create a concentric circle, I would just copy Commander Control C and then Commander Control F to place it right on top. Here, I could push it, my long blue line in, and I could say of approval. To create the bullets, it's just option asterisk on a Mac. On a PC, you could look that up on your character map. So now, I'm just gonna grab it and spin it around. I could tighten up the tracking on some of these letters here, let's say, with command or control, shift, left bracket. Just put it into place. And so by pasting it in front, by pasting it in front, which was our command or control F there, you have the ability basically to place it right in place. So you make a copy and then you put it right in place. In this case, you can have the option to paste it in front or back. I put it in front because it's almost arbitrary, but these are two separate circles. If I go to my wire view, command or control Y, see that they are two separate circles. So that's how you put text on the path in Illustrator. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with your friends, and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl, with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.